Hello, happy holidays, and welcome to the video. Recently on my channel, I reacted to an AI written Christmas story, and I thought what better day to celebrate this special holiday than to have an AI write one of our own. Now I do in fact have a physical copy of this masterpiece that I absolutely cannot wait to share with you all. I also thought that this would be a great time to enjoy a glass of sparkling wine, um, which is is being chroma keyed by my OBS. That's okay. Now you can't tell that I'm drinking wine out of a solo cup. I will say that I did almost lose my eye in the attempt of opening the bottle. I didn't expect it to pop when I didn't shake it. I It w happened unprovoked. It was a cork that felt cornered and sprung into action. I can't blame it. But our team of editors, to the best of their ability, have reenacted the near-death experience that I just went through. Now without further ado, let's get into the story. It's not good. Jack and Jill are a pair of con artists who wanted to get rich over the holidays. They heard that Santa Claus was granting wishes and they wanted their cut of the pie. So they decided to rob his house on Christmas Eve. Jack called up Jill and told her he found a new lead to his whereabouts. She told Jack she would come with him, but she was on her way to buy some last minute Christmas gift for her children. Jack didn't want to wait for her, so he just took off without her, which made Jill mad. Jack headed out the door, but on his way out, he heard a little girl ask for a new dress for Christmas. He looked in his pocket and saw that he had $25 left from all his scheming. So he brought her something nice from the store window and gave it to her as a present before continuing on his mission. The next day, Jack woke up in his bed with nothing but guilt eating him alive. I decided that the AI left us on quite the cliffhanger, and so I nudged it just a tad, not much, I gave the AI the following prompt. Jack felt guilty because he spent the other 2000 on hookers and blow rather than provide for his family. Jack was a man who was struggling to provide for his family. He lived in poverty and had no idea how to get out. He had recently received a large sum of money and wanted to use it for his family's sake, but he found himself in addiction, spending it all on drugs and women. As he is walking home one night, he sees a clown bearing down on him with an ax. The clown tells Jack that his guilt will never let him go. So this is the end. Jack sees the devil before him and accepts his fate. Afterwards, Jack wakes up alive and well in a cafe with the clown sitting across from him. Jack realizes that the clown is death, come from take him home to be with his family. Feeling relieved that at last he had a chance now to save them. What the fuck did that turn into? I, look, I genuinely have zero words for, for how that played out, um, but I also decided that that wasn't enough. So I nudged it a little more with uh, with this prompt. Jack had to save his children from Jill, who let her new boyfriend, twice her age, beat her children. Jack was in his kitchen when he hears a noise from the other room. He finds his four-year-old son cowering and crying with his arm broken. When he asks him what happened, the son points to Jill's bedroom. Jack storms in to find Jill in bed and her new boyfriend on top of her and starts beating her. He tries to pull the man off but is kicked in the groin, which makes him collapse there helplessly. His children are rolling on the floor next to him, also crying and terrified, while they're being assaulted by their own mother repeatedly. The whole time he's thinking about how if he could just call a single number on his phone, they could be safe with one call, but he can't seem to remember it. He doesn't know if it's because he's been beaten in the head, or because he doesn't have it memorized, or something else entirely. Oh my god, he's dying! Call 911! What's the number? Really, nigga? But eventually, it comes back to him as... I'll be honest, don't know how we got from Christmas to domestic violence. Let's see how we can connect Einstein to breast implants. Money troubles, I assume, that is the the general uh, most common cause of, um, of divorces in America. Um, at least that's what my parents told me and that it wasn't my fault. But I think I'm most upset with the fact that the story ends with, but it comes back to him as... That's just shitty writing. I'm not gonna blame the content. I will blame that horrible writing. Um, but anyway, I don't know what the fuck that was, but y'all have a great Christmas.